This ruined building is a terrifying example of the power of Wednesday morning 7.4 magnitude earthquake. But look down the road here and you see that most of Hualien is not damaged. 四月三号上午，台湾东部海域发生规模七点二强震，花莲首当其冲。发生如此规模的地震，大部分的地区却都安然无恙，受到外媒关注。Given what we're seeing there, Ian, ten people killed actually seems like a smaller number than people might expect. I mean, those those roads completely wiped out, buildings on their side. How was Taiwan prepared for this earthquake? That's because the country upgraded its infrastructure following a devastating earthquake back in 1999. Since then, the country's been preparing for the next big one. CNN 报道，在921地震后，台湾政府积极改善建筑耐震度。美国东北大学全球韧性研究所主任奥德瑞奇表示，从那时候开始，我们看到了全面的大规模升级。他们对被发现以任何方式偷工减料的建筑公司处以巨额罚款和处罚。所有新的建筑都获得了大量投资。It appears the early warning systems in place made a difference. Lester, they had cell phone alerts that went out. They're accustomed to having earthquakes there, and that it happened during the day when people were awake appeared to help. 除了优化建筑 ，BBC 还盘点台湾为地震做的应变措施，包括遍布全台的预警系统、学校及工作场所防灾演习，提高公众意识。此外，灾难应变团队也利用社群媒体和监视器画面迅速反应、评估灾损以及提供救援物资。新唐人亚太电视王冠林、丁雅娜综合报道。